We're going to do a lesson here on average speed and average velocity. When you think of average, sometimes you think of a set of numbers, like 2, 4, and 6. If we add them together, divide by 3, we get 4, so that would be an average. And we still have that mentality when we're thinking about average speed, but we can think of it a little, even more, a little more generally. We just want to have a general idea of what happened um, during a range of time in an instant. So what we really care about here is the difference between the end and the beginning. So giving you here a def definition for average speed, it's the total distance traveled per unit of time. And we write V average equals D over T, or average speed is distance over time. And the average velocity is the displacement per unit of time. So the average velocity is equal to delta D over delta T, or in other words, the change in position over the change in time. We're going to do a quick sample problem here to show you how this can be used. So here our problem says that Uzair travels to Ottawa from Mississauga, which is 473 kilometers, in four and a half hours. What is his average speed? I've already written out the given and required here. So we're given the distance and the time, and we need to find the average speed. And the equation we're going to use is average speed equals distance over time. And since I'm looking for average speed, I don't need to do any rearranging. So I'm just going to plug in numbers. So we get equals 473 kilometers divided by four and a half hours. And I pull out my calculator and do the division. And I end up with 105.1, and that repeats, kilometers per hour, right? Because we've got kilometers divided by hours here. So we end up with kilometers per hour. And if I'm going to use significant figures, I'm going to round this to two significant figures. So this ends up as 110 kilometers per hour. So I need to write a therefore statement. So therefore, and I'm going to go back and answer the actual question. So is there's average speed is 110 kilometers per hour. And I have no idea if he traveled a fairly consistent speed or if sometimes he traveled 120 kilometers per hour, sometimes he traveled 100. We have no idea what happened between point A and point B. We just know that the average speed throughout that time was 110 kilometers per hour. One more example, this time using average velocity. So here we have a track star that runs a 500 meter race on a 400 meter track. The end point is due north of the starting point. What is the runner's average velocity if it takes 55 seconds to run the race? So I have to do a little bit of work here to figure it out. First I need to know the displacement. Well, we know that the starting and end points are due north of each other, and the difference between the race and the track length is 100 meters. So I'm going to deduce that the displacement is 100 meters north. And I didn't really leave myself enough room, but that's okay. And the time we can take from the question is 55 seconds. And my required here is the average velocity. So that's where I'm putting my question mark. I'm going to use the equation average velocity is change in displacement over change in time or sorry, change in position over change in time. So I'm going to plug in my numbers here. So we have 100 meters north divided by 55 seconds. And I pull out my calculator and I get 1.81 and that's repeating meters per second 
north because the direction of the change in position was north. So the velocity has to also be the same. And if I'm going to con consider significant figures here, we know a track length is generally pretty accurate. So let's go with two significant figures for our answer. So we get 1.8 meters per second north. So this is what has to go in our therefore statement. So therefore, the track stars average velocity is 1.8 meters per second north. And you can see pretty easily here that if I did average speed, we'd get a different answer because we'd be using 500 meters as our distance. So you'd be doing 500 meters divided by 55 seconds. You'd get a pretty different answer. Lastly, we're going to look at this on a position time graph. So we're going to just kind of consider a few of the positions so we can make some calculations. So notice the initial position, or D0, is here at 20 meters. So D0 is 20 meters, and it's positive. That's the forward direction. So I'm just going to use the signs to indicate the direction here. And then position 1 is here, so that's still positive 20 meters. And position 3 is up here, that's positive 60 meters. And 4 and a half is again positive 60 meters. And finally position 6, we're back to positive 20 meters. So we can calculate the average velocity for the entire trip. And remember that that means the change in position from beginning to end. So what we're actually looking for here is the final position minus the initial position. And this is over the final time minus the initial time. So we have here positive 20 meters minus positive 20 meters. And that's all over 6 seconds minus 0 seconds. So we end up with, well, 20 minus positive 20 is 20 minus 20, which is 0 meters over 6 seconds. So we end up with a zero, an answer of 0 meters per second. So the average velocity of this object or person or whatever is being represented here is 0 meters per second. Now let's look at how we could find the average speed. So if we do the average speed, we need to know the total distance. So we need to figure out the distance of each segment. So what's the distance in segment A? Well, you need to take a look at the difference in the positions to find the, the distances. So here you notice that we're going between positions 0 and 1, and that's 20 and 20, so that is a distance of 0. It doesn't move, and we can tell that by looking at the graph, because look, it's a horizontal line. So if it's a horizontal line, we know that we're getting a distance of 0 meters. Alright, so what's the distance in part B? Part B goes from 20 up to 60, so that's going from 20 up to 60, that's 40 meters. So in that time, it traveled 40 meters. What about C? Again, we have that horizontal line. So we're actually not traveling any distance at all. And then the last part here, coming down this line, we'll again look at the change in the distance or the change in the position, and we're going from 60 to 20, so that's another 40 meters. Notice I don't have any positives or negatives here, and that's because we're dealing with distance, right? There's no direction, no positives and negatives, just a total. So that means our total distance is 0 plus 40 plus 0 plus 40, so we end up with a total of 80 meters, because all we did was add all these together. So now we can find 
a average speed because it's going to be the total distance over the total time and we know that from our look at the graph that the distance is 80 meters and the time is still 6 seconds and we end up with an answer of 13.3 repeating meters per second so I'm going to just round that to 13 meters per second which is obviously a different answer than you got for the average velocity